Hello everybody, today is February 3rd. We are here to do your Friday weekend forecast. Starting out, we have the chariot. You have a success despite difficulty. You are plowing forward with focus and determination. We then get the Seven of Cups, which is about gaining perspective, stepping back, looking at the bigger picture, realizing you have tons of choices right now. It's also a little bit about daydreaming. I'm gonna caution you, don't go overboard with the daydreaming. It's okay to be creative, but this is really a time to focus on what steps are you going to be taking. Then we get the Nine of Cups, which tells me that there is going to be success involved with this, but this doesn't mean rest on your laurels and get snarky. Look, he's kind of being a little bit like, hey, I already did all this, I already drank all these cups. But it isn't the end. This is about being optimistic and happy, but knowing that you still have some work to do. Because then we get the Eight of Pentacles that says, yes, absolutely, still more work to do. Look, he's still slaving away. Um, and this is about finding that work-life balance and that creativity, but also being balanced. Like I said, be pragmatic, but still use your creative abilities. Now we get the world reversed, which is interesting because it looks like um, you're not feeling very fulfilled right now. Things aren't really going the way you want. Maybe you feel like you missed an opportunity. Um, don't dwell on that, please. Don't put that energy there because then we start to see things kind of get better for you. Because after that chariot where I talk about your moving forward determination, you're not giving up, we then get the reversed four of pentacles. Okay, so in the reverse, it's about um, not getting obsessed with the um, financial part of things, not focusing only on money, okay? We need to also look at how we feel inside. Money isn't everything, money's just an energy and we will always be able to draw money to us, attract money to us when we're in the right place. So this is about understanding you gotta trust the universe that you are gonna line things up so that that abundance comes to you. Don't stress about it. We then get the two of wands, which is about believing in your personal power. And I think I even said that too, you gotta believe in yourself. Um, and this is also about knowing that there's, um, you gotta be a little bit more bold. It's taking that first step. Like I said, you're kind of focused on the future. Then we get the six of wands, and this is about earning success. So I do feel like if you stay focused and you keep your eye on the prize, the success is absolutely gonna come your way. Um, and this is about confidence, recognition, feeling like you're being recognized for something you've done, a job well done, I love it. Then we get into some Oracle cards. We have protection. You get the protection card and this is the Rowan. I don't know what that is, but look, it's some kind of a botanical. I don't care, but the word is protection. This is talking about protecting your energy. Don't be around negative people. Lastly, we get your dreams need a practical plan. What did I just say to you? And emotions are running high. You're excited because you feel like, yes, I'm onto something new. Keep going. Uh, you're gonna fly, you're gonna soar. This is your time to expand. We got the 20 energy. This is partnerships, relationships, and also open energy, the fool. Everybody have a wonderful weekend. I will see you on Monday.